Hello, would you like to listen to a story? Yes? Great. So here it goes. Today I am going to tell you the story, The Little Bear Who Had to Stay Home. Adapted from a beautiful story written by author Suzanne Perrault. Just for you. The little bear was confused why she had to stay at home. Didn't everyone know that little bears love to go? Little bear could not go to her base home. She could not even go out to play with her friends in the forest. Why she couldn't even go to meet her friends, visit her friends and play with them? Oh, she was stuck in her cave home. But she could look out through her window from her cave home. And to her surprise, she saw so many things. You know what she saw? She saw little ants scurrying on the ground. She saw colored beetles coming out and in of the leaves. She saw rabbits hopping in and out of the burrows. She saw colorful butterflies and birds flying above. But even with all this to watch, little bear was getting more and more impatient. She was wondering why she was stuck at home, why she couldn't go out. It made no sense at all. Why couldn't she go out and meet her friends? Then the old great grandma tree whispered to little bear. Little bear knew that she could trust the little, great old grandma tree. The little bear knew that the great old grandma tree knew everything. She knew what happened in this big white world because the birds and the wind were her friends. Little bear knew that every morning she heard the birds coming and running on the topmost branch of the tree and they were singing songs. They were telling the news of the world to the great old grandma tree. And she also knew when the wind would come because the great old grandma tree would sing. And sometimes the little bear had to close the window of her house because the wind would stir up all the dust and the leaves into the little bear's house. Every day the great old grandma tree would whisper to the little bear. Things are not as they used to be. And trust me, very soon you will be free. Trust me, trust me. Little bear knew that she had to trust and she had to wait. And very soon she will be able to go out, move freely out of her home move freely to roam on the beautiful forest, move freely to feel the grass and the trees in the forest, move freely to play with her friends and have a fun time with her friends. And while she waited, little bear was surprised to know that how many things, fun things she could do in a cozy little home. You want to know what little bear does in a cozy little house? I'll show you. Little bear can dance. Little bear can sing, little bear can paint and draw and do some songs across the floor. Little bear can dance, little bear can sing, little bear can clean and cook and yes, curl up with the cozy picture book. Little bear can dance, little bear can sing, little bear can tell stories and yes, Listen to wonderful stories too. Little bear can dance. Little bear can sing. Hmm. What else do you think little bear can do in a cozy little house? Can you think of something? Do tell. See you soon. Bye-bye.